Hey, good morning. My name is Ashley Urban and I am the program coordinator for the Intelligence Community Center for Academic Excellence at the University of Kansas. And I'm going to give you a brief presentation today on uh, what our program has to offer. So this first slide is just to um, help you understand this acronym ICCAE, which is what you would most likely see on most of our um, recruiting materials and such and on our website. It stands for the Intelligence Community Center for Academic Excellence. We offer a undergraduate certificate and a minor. So just a little bit about the intelligence community, if this is something that's a new concept to you, um, it is comprised of the 17 federal agencies in the intelligence community. Some of the ones that people most of the time know the most about are the CIA and the FBI, for example, but there are many more to choose from as far as careers go, such as the National Security Agency, NSA, um, or the Department of the Treasury or the Department of the State. So there's lots of other things to look at. Um, as far as experiences coming into the IC, as a high school student, all you really need is an interest in working in the intelligence community. As a college student, if you're things that you can do would be to go to a um, internship in the intelligence community, which we provide a lot of information and uh, links on how to apply for those types of things in our program. Um, other experiences that they find valuable are language experiences as well. So um, maybe a minor in a language or potentially doing a travel abroad experience um, and learning more about a culture or language are some of the things that they like to see on resumes. So there are actually now more than 25 universities that have this ICCA designation. Um, right now we're funded through the Department of Defense. And what this designation does is it basically gives us a direct line of contact with the intelligence agencies in Washington, DC. And these agencies use all the ICC schools in particular to recruit students from. So if this is a career that you're genuinely interested in, your best bet to get your foot in the door is to be attending one of these uh, ICC designated schools such as KU. Um, and then um, in addition, you could, um, have that designation so that you would be the first on the list whenever they're looking to recruit students from the pools of all the other universities as well. And we are the only one in the state of Kansas. So while you're here, we would provide you with extracurricular activities to broaden your knowledge about the career. And then in addition to the academic um, requirements for the program, and that would be in reference to the courses you're taking for the um, certificate and the minor. So this is just a little bit more information I'm going to go into about both the certificate and the minor that we have at KU. So the certificate is uh, four required core courses and all of these courses are av available online. And uh, we have a consortium with three community colleges in the Kansas City area. We have Donnelly and then in Western Kansas, we have Seward and Dodge City as well. So um, if you were a student at one of these colleges, especially, you could take these core, four core courses while you're doing your community college work before you transfer to KU. Um, and you could finish the, the certificate that way. If, uh, if you're in the certificate program, you're also required to do 20 hours of extracurricular activities. And those are the ones that we host on campus, um, but most of them are virtual. So if you weren't physically on campus, you could still attend those. So if you decided to do the minor, you would have to physically be at KU for that. So if you, but the other part of that is if you started with a certificate and you did the four, first four core courses, you could transition to the minor if you decided to go to KU at, during your junior year. So you could potentially do that if you would like. You can also just finish the certificate and if you in, don't end up at KU, but um, if you decide to do the minor at KU, the additional requirements would be the two elective courses. And we have a pretty extensive list of electives that you can choose from. Um, and then instead of the 20 extracurricular activities, you would do 10 extracurricular activity hours for that. The highest level of involvement that you can have in our program is to be an ICCA scholar. And that's just for the more serious student that is uh, pretty sure that they want to work in the intelligence community upon graduation from college. And if that's something that you would be interested in, we have a few requirements as you can see here on the screen. Um, we, you know, we like to get good students, serious students in these types of programs. Um, so as long as you have taken one of our classes you, and you meet these other requirements, you would be eligible to apply for that. Um, and what that does for you is basically put you on the top of the list of priority to get into all the opportunities that we have to offer. 
So for example, a summer internship, um, like a paid summer internship, um, or study abroad scholarships or scholarships for courses that we offer. If you are designated as a scholar and you've gone through these steps and you're approved as a scholar, whenever those opportunities arise, the scholars all go to the top of the selection list for those opportunities. So it's definitely a good way to, to secure more involvement in the program. Um, this is just a little bit of information about the course descriptions. Um, if you were kind of wanting to get dig a little deeper in what each course was about, um, I'm not going to go through this since we're on a time crunch, but this is all available on our website if you would like to do that. So in reference to the extracurricular activities that I brought up, the 20 hours for the certificate and the 10 hours for the minor, this is just a list of some examples of the ones we've done in the past. Um, we have, uh, we usually bring in a, uh, agents from DC to talk, like for example, we always have a recruiter from the CIA every semester that comes and talks to students. Um, and these are, this is a really good way to network because these people that we bring in are often um, heavily involved in the program that we have at KU. And so they're willing to share their email address and their contact information with students if students have questions later. And these are also people that can help you with your resume and things like that whenever you're trying to get your foot into the door of these careers upon graduation. So it's very valuable experiences. And that is the end of my presentation. Here is my contact information. You can reach me via email. My email address is there at the bottom of the screen in blue. Um, our website is right directly under my email address and our website will have even more extensive information about what we have going on in our program. So feel free to check those out. And if you have any other questions, I would be happy to answer those. Oh, I think I got you on mute here. Oh, am I working now? Yep, there you are. All right, so just to be clear. So if I transferred my junior year, I could finish the minor, but if I go anywhere else, I can get my certificate? This is true. Yes, yes. You can do the minor. If you decided late, you could do the certificate. And then if you ended up coming to KU, you could potentially transfer that into a minor. Um, and then if you didn't come to KU, especially if you went to one of our three consortium schools, you could definitely um, do the certificate there. If you ended up at a different institution, there's a little more involved with getting uh, a certificate if you're not with one of our affiliated schools, but it is, is something that you could do. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day.